I'm serious. Waka huu the only ladies I'm talking to ni mtu mwenye nataka kuoa. So if I come to you this year and I talk to you no I want to marry you. Hi everyone. Happy happy new year. And uh, today I'm so happy. Imagine mwaka mpya the first interview that I'm doing in this 2024 I'm doing with the one and only MC Tricky. And you know the the the, the secret the story behind MC Tricky and my channel. At the video I think in my post leo I talked about it and uh, I'm with Tricky today. Mahali tuko and watatuambia tuko wapi? First of all, natuambia Happy New Year, wasalimie then uh, tutaendelea Tricky. Yes. How are you? I'm good. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Uh-huh. Yes. Good to see you. Good to see you. Umetokea wapi huku wewe? Home. Eh? Sinatembea. Huku ni home? Eh. Mimi niko kando ya barabara naona aya ndio huyu turudi tena na kamera zake. Kwani content creators hamna anga sikuku? Tulikuwa nayo jana. Oh, okay. So leo tumeanza kazi. Sasa, sasa karibu nyumbani. Mimi ndo nitakukaribisha. Thank you. Mm. So huku ni wapi maybe kwa watu ambao wanatutazama? Huku ni home. Kwa kama tunaitanga misini. <laughs> huku ni Mboni. Uh-huh. Eh Mboni kwa makweni county. Uh-huh. Eh place karibu na place nilo Tawa. Yes. Eh, sasa tawa uh-huh. hapa mahali tuko nani? Mm. Ni ni place poor sana ya one of my good friends mm-hmm. who is also in the entertainment sphere. Yes. Eh, wakamba watu wanamuelewa na sio wakamba peke yake. Huku ni Kiembeni Resort. Yes. Yes, Kiembeni Resort leo tulikuwa na sherehe ya kufungua mwaka. Mm-hmm. Courtesy of uh, the proprietor himself eh, anaitango Maima. Maima. Maima Kidungo. Ndio sasa. Unajua watu wengi wameishi kujua wewe ni mumeru. Hata tutakanga wengine waseme mimi ni ni mtrukana, mm-hmm. wengine wanasema mimi ni mjaluo juu ya rangi yangu, mm-hmm. wengine wanasema mimi ni msapere. Kwanza wengi walikuwa wanajua mimi ni msapere. Na nilikuwa napendanga sana hiyo confusion. Yes. Hata after hii interview, mm-hmm. hawatajui kweli bado. <laughs> <laughs> Siku na wenye wataona. Kuna <laughs> wenye wataona bado wataishi kujua wewe ni kifungu meru. Kenya ukitaka ku kupenya haraka watu wasiku align na, na nini uh, na, na tribal mm-hmm. people in this country are still tribal mm-hmm. hiyo ni ukweli uh-huh. hata mkikata uh-huh. tribal ni ile tu unajipata na umefanya kitu in the favor of wa mtu wanyoba mm-hmm. kuliko so long as you are dealing with everybody mm-hmm. but anyway i'm good to go okay mm. talking of we here because of my ma maybe mm. what's your relationship with him or maybe if mm. your friends will join na jana yeye Maima of course ako kwa entertainment uh, uh, platform uh, is uh, one of the biggest artists in uh, not only Ukambani uh, even in Kenya everybody knows him he performs everywhere even in other platforms sio Ukambani pekee so unajua tukiwa kwa the same nini platform ni rahisi kujua yeah. so mimi na Maima tumepatana kwa hii space mm-hmm. ya kwenda tele mm-hmm. yes all right now uh, tell us your highlight 2023 highlight kulikuwaje ah! tumefika now this is first day of 2024 mm. highlight ya 2023 highlight ya 20 ya ni moja ama ngapi my highlight ya 2023 it was my comedy tour ile uli for uli. me okay yes my comedy tour zote unajua it's one tour only that i went yeah. to different places yeah. Yeah. that was my highlight because mm-hmm. i did an, uh, a successful one in nairobi my comedy circuit and nikafanya tour as as a brand mm-hmm. i i felt that i really did something that uh, is building me mm-hmm. yeah. and maybe kuna kitu haikufurahisha 2023 mm-hmm. of course unajua uwezi kwa tuna kila kitu poa kuna yes uh, personally 2023 nilikuwa na msiba Eh, na iko ni furaisha ili ni ili ni ili ni put off balance kidogo mm-hmm. so i can say that it, that it was the only darkest part of my year hiyo mm-hmm. hiyo peke yake hizi vitu zingine ni za kawaida hizi mambo za tax ziko juu mm-hmm. oh sijui nini kila mtu anapitia hiyo so i cannot generalize mm-hmm. shida ya watu wengi ni same ili niuma mm-hmm. peke yangu mm-hmm. yes now tuko 2024 yes tumeanza mwaka yeah. eh Chukua tato. Chukua tato. Eh, usiweke, usiweke. Mweke utupate umefanywa ile kitu. Mm. Tumeanza mwaka 2024. Yes. Maybe uh, to expect ni now from MC Trick because tunakutambua tutatambua kazi yako. Tunaona kila kitu ambacho unafanya. Labda tupange sasa tujue kunaendaje. Of course I have I have a plan. Mm-hmm. You know, lazima u plan side yako then the rest uachie Mungu mm. na na serikali. <laughs> 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 so I have a plan. Mm-hmm. 
uh, for my fans mm-hmm. you know unajua trudi kuna time ilikuwa imefika mm-hmm. uh, nilikuwa nataka kuondokea hii public uh, space why kila mtu huko ana taste zake za life uh-huh. kuna time ilikuwa imefika i think ilikuwa time gani hiyo hapo tu hapo tu i wanted to concentrate with some other uh, i vitu zingine za maisha tu mm-hmm. that's why unanyonanga shule sana mm-hmm. but imefika time mm-hmm. nika notice there are some things that when god gives them to you mm-hmm. you can't run away from yeah siko anajua hii kitu si yangu peke yangu mm-hmm. ni yetu wengi na kuna watu wanakuhitaji thank you yes. na kuna watu wana look up on me mm-hmm. and all that so after realizing that like two, three years ago mm-hmm. then I I have to prepare myself to face mm. uh, the future as a brand. Yes. I will, I will never run away from being a comedian and a public figure. Mm-hmm. Ni ngumu. Mm-hmm. So now that it's there and uh, God has given me the enough grace I'm here to do the God's work. Mm-hmm. Na nikisema hivyo nasema everybody has a plan. For me I have a plan for my fans this 2024. Mm-hmm. And the plan is very nice. Na by then takuita hiyo I'm launching something this month. This month? Uh, this month. Okay. Uh, it's it's just a comedy show. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It's nothing else. Uh, I will just concentrate on comedy peke mm-hmm. yake. There's something I want to do. It's according to my 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 plan and my brand. Mm-hmm. I know my strengths, I know my weaknesses. Mm-hmm. I have weighed them. Nimeziangalia, nikajua mafans wangu wanapendanga nini na wana na nini umeelewa? Yeah. Yeah. So I have a plan. Let, let, let's not had the plan sahi mm-hmm. but it's there but it's it's comedy uh-huh. yeah. and more so stand up comedy tunakutambua na hiyo yes. umeongelea kuhusu masomo maybe mm. unaendelea je how is it the progress masomo iko fit unamaliza lini masomo iko poa pro- ute graduate ni miaka tu tuza ni miaka ngapi sahi sio mingi si nimeingia juzi tu uh-huh. eh, masters sio mchezo masters you... masters ah masters is not Inapeleka a job kaje she experience it, sasa masters Eh, nafanya, it's crazy. Mm-hmm. It's crazy. Ukisikia nikikwambia it's crazy. Eh, no it's crazy. Mm-hmm. I don't like talking about hiyo story ya masomo sana because you know people know me because of comedy. Yeah. Awaji nikiingia huko kwingine mimi mi nafanyanga mahesabu za gani. Mm-hmm. When you start talking about that they 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 think you are bragging. <coughs> yeah. And you know I'm dealing with people who are Jeniseme tu my fans mm-hmm. siezi jua mwenye anapenda masomo na mwenye yeye hata watambui masomo kuna mwingine mwenye anafanya biz zingine mm-hmm. so when i start concentrating with the masomo part of it some fans feel like wana detach na mimi yeah. Yeah. so the experience is good but uh, for the past like uh, one year niko ile level inaitwa sasa to compile research this is and doing the research it's not a joke mm-hmm. it needs a lot of a lot of time a lot of concentration and dedication a lot of discipline na na ni ngumu wacha niseme tu hivyo mm-hmm. sio rais mm-hmm. eh, but eh, i'm projecting to be finishing this year by by june yes god willing takwa na malizia okay mm. you do a lot yes. how do you balance all these you you uko shule sasa una take masters mm. you do pale comedy uko kwa radio uko na a lot mm. that's how? why mm-hmm. sometimes when you look for me for an interview na nakuangusha mm. you, you guys don't understand mm-hmm. i have friends when you wanasema anga see nangi events zao hata kuna mtu aliniuliza hivyo last time mm. ni juu ukiona si jamek kufanya kitu mm. sio kupenda kwangu lazima u balance hizi vitu mm. for me Uh, it takes a lot of discipline to yeah. to balance mm-hmm. uh, several uh, uh, lives kuna time nilikuwa na nafikiria tu kivyangu and i did a script na hiyo script ndio hii ndio hii performs kwa moja you need to the 66 lives of tricky because in a in a day i live so many lives i'm i'm a student for may, maybe in the morning my professor does not know about mc tricky Eh uh, nimetoka je court tu hivi hapo nje mm. nafaa kupitia event fulani kwa gig i have to switch even mm. my wear mm. to become mc tricky mm. <laughs> yeah. then jioni jioni mm. i have to get mc tricky wa stage nje nikuje nikuwe yule mc tricky wa radio i have to live all those lives and you need a lot of discipline mm-hmm. mm. pale kwa radio mm. uh, you've been there for quite some time yes. how is life being on radio It's no. 5 years down the line by the way. Uh-huh. Radio is the real thing and I'll say that without fear. Mm-hmm. Radio ndio imenijenga 
zaidi kufika hapo. Mm-hmm. Okay, startup comedy ndio ili, ili ni launch yeah. but radio has, is the one which has created a foundation mm-hmm. for me. Mm-hmm. Even financial foundation and all that. Mm-hmm. Radio is sweet, mm-hmm. radio is life, radio is fun, mm-hmm. radio is everything. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I me follow sana show zako na Chris na most of the time hapo jioni mnafanya ile show ya kupata kutafutia watu eh, yes eh, mpoa permanent. permanent na nime nimekuwa nikipata yes yes mm. oh mwenyewe watu wanauliza wewe unatafutiana mzee <laughs> <laughs> nimepea watu wengi imagine every day of the week tunapea Una... mtu mtu Ehe. Katiana every day mtu anaenda na watu wameoana kwa hiyo kwa hiyo Katiana yetu okay. for your information. So wale watu wanaona ngambe bibi ni si for those si real. Kuna wasee hata usema ah hizo calls tuna kwanga tumetafuta mabeshe yetu. Yes. Katiana is as real as daylight. Mm-hmm. In fact we have a lot of problems choosing the Katiana that we should do in a day. Mm-hmm. Watu wameoana kwa hiyo. Na wanakaa. Na wanakaa mpaka wana tunafanya nga review mpaka wanatupigia simu even offer wanatuambia aki tricky unakumbuka mkinipea mato uh-huh. april imagine tumeoana na mato imagine niko na ball ya mato <laughs> pia wengine hapo tunawaleta pamoja uh-huh. wana date two months alafu wana oh, sana <laughs> <laughs> na watu wanaeleza mbona mimi mwenyewe sijajitafutia yes. wacha nikwambie kitu uh-huh na naongea saa hii out of experience uh-huh. hakuna kitu ngumu kama kupata bibi ama bwana uh-huh. in as much as being... that is why if i would advise myself it's better you get married when you are young uh-huh. when you don't have much to think about by young i don't mean young sana ukianza kuzeeka uh-huh. vitu zinaanzaka kukuja kwa maisha yako mpaka hiyo story ya kuoa unaiweka uh-huh. ob, uh, priority number three. yeah mm. But when you are young and fresh uh-huh. and you have the vibe ya umelewa uh-huh. you are 25 uh-huh. you feel now you are a man uh-huh. that's a, i think that's the best time utafute mtu na muanze na muanze uh-huh. ukianza kuzeka kama sisi my friend vitu zitakuwa mingi huyo bibi so kumaanisha and looking for somebody uh-huh. who we can trust uh-huh. each other uh-huh. na ku grow na eh uh-huh. mpaka ile to marriage imekuwa tricky uh-huh na kwa tricky sana. Mm-hmm. Na uki lakini kuna kitu moja inanibo wengi. Acha leo ni sema. <laughs> Fungua roho. Hakuna kitu ni bo kama. Eh. <laughs> you people mnakwanga mmeshatweka kwa kwa cage fulani ya. Mm. All public figures are the same. The same meaning uh niki approach them the first thing that comes to their mind is huyu amekuja kunicheza. Mm manigate mm-hmm. huyu ana anafikiria ananitaka juu anaona kwa rado mm-hmm. si hiyo mentality hiyo mentality yes. it's the hardest mentality to deal with mm-hmm. so it it, it really affects affect a lot oh. a lot mimi naweza kuwa mahali hivi kama tumenye tuko hapa kwa hii resort mm-hmm. ni one them even him like but i can't approach them mm-hmm. cuz nikimu ah, approach eh ama huyu ni celeb anataka kunichezea imagine eh. ama tuko tu mahali tu kwa kanisa na nimeona mrembo <laughs> but i cannot approach them uh-huh. because hata nikim approach uh-huh. everybody is looking at me and they say ay 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 huyu anataka kumchezea huyu tiki ameamua napita na huyu eh ningekuwa mtu tu no more francis munyao fulani ningekuwa na approach hii ningekuwa nimeoa please hii mwaka mchana ukiona nimekuwa approach i'm serious mwaka huu the only ladies i'm talking to ni mtu mwenye anataka kuoa. So if I come to you this year and I talk to you no I want to marry you. It's one of your resolutions <laughs> <It's> one... <laughs> this year. <laughs> Siongeleshi de mstaki kuoa hii mwaka. Sikuongeleshi by kuongeleshi nasema ku approach. Uh-huh, yeah. Si tunaparana unaniongeleshe na nyamaza hapana. Mm-hmm. Niki ku approach I want you. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Nimeshaji tetea. Okay. Mm-hmm. Ani mwana last year uh, mm-hmm. watu walikuwa na post wanasema couples hizo ma isn't it waje? Eh, vile watu uvaa kwa Christmas couple goals like mm. zimepungua sana zilipungua sana i think watu wali break up sana watu waamini yani like most of the celebrities actually celebrities wengi waliachana sana last year watu watu waamini yani mm-hmm. and then there's something happening kuna haka ka fever kameanza ku sweep across that mm. hey, marriage is hard does not work mm. we we've, we've seen people who are successful divorcing so tuko zile za ai Mm. Kama fulani fulani imemshinda na yangu na mimi mimi nitaweza kweli <laughs> <Mitaweza. laughs> That's unaona ana wase eh wamepunguza hiyo hiyo unajua kuna hiyo time Kenya kila mtu alikuwa na couple kwa mtandao yeah. na ilikuwa vibe mm. sasa hii imepungua I think people are 
guys are scared eh, guys are scared eh naweza onyesha na trudi hapa leo tuna vibe alafu kesho tuko sane yeah. watu waanze kunichekelea yeah, yeah. yeah. that's is that kafiva i don't know who will come to save us but wacha tuone tu ourselves we have to save ourselves na hiyo ah. mentality hiyo tu pia mentality venye tu umesema eh lakini mimi mwaka lazima lazima nipate msichana lazima Right, sawa sawa tuna tunangoja okay. kama nisipopata kama wewe ni ex wangu ujipange utarudia ex we will make out things <laughs> <laughs> we can talk hii <laughs> umepatia watu kapi umepatia watu we, unaona hapo kwa can ex. talk please hapo <laughs> kwa ex wacha tungoje now if, if my ex we can talk anyway eh. <laughs> so a uh, tricky maybe tukiendelea kumaliza mm. kuna size one of uh, some one of you kwa industry yako mm. na msiba na ime create a lot of stories watu wanaongea sana mambo ni mengi maybe wewe kama tricky ni advice gani unaweza muambia ama kuambia wale watu ambao wanaongea vibaya about abel about like if it anajua umeona vitu kama hizo comments ni mingi mambo ni mingi imagine ilete msiba imetokea ndio unapatanga sasa watu wanaongea and I, 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 there, there is a friend of mine mwenye alisema kwa watu wenye hakuwa na expect why why pata kwa mambo mingi comments vitu kama hizo ni abel na alisema abel na nani but right now mambo ni mingi. maybe what advice do you have for people who are commenting pale wale wanaandika vitu people uh, siezi si juani how to put it but uh, i know i understand what with the question yes. of course i understand. i saw the the backlash mm-hmm. and all that um, the unfortunate bit of it and i'll say it as it is mm-hmm. is that sisi kama public figures um, there's something that we should know that our fans wait to our followers wait mm. they are virtual <laughs> virtual meaning there are people who can say anything about you anytime they want and you can't control yeah True. so mimi kama brand the moment i realize that mm. i know how to tread carefully mm. on these streets mm. uh, whatever abel did mm. it was not something at the out of this world or akona msiba amepoteza bro yeah. it is a sad time for him mm-hmm. and uh, we have seen it a normal thing that kenyans just tell their fans mm-hmm. nimsaidia hapa yeah. nimsaidia hapa yeah, true. but now the other side of it is that the same same fans are the same same fans who see you like a small god mm-hmm. like ufai kuomba thank you in fact wao wanafikiria wewe ndo unafaa kuona wasaidia mm-hmm. hata ukiwa kuchi mm-hmm. something i want to tell my uh, although hata nikiwaambia itasaidia because mm-hmm. i can't control them mm-hmm. is that my fans wetu wanafaa wajue we are also people mm-hmm. we are also human beings mm-hmm. we are not immortal we are sisi ni wase ni wase wa kawaida yeah. meaning what let me give you an example sometimes uh, mtu anaweza kuona msiba lakini amkujua the journey towards the msiba yeah. you don't you don't know mtu alikwaruzika ali aje mm-hmm. kimfuko yeah ndio akuje kuwaambia eh kumeenda vibaya yeah. so hiyo moment nimewaambia kumeenda vibaya amujui venye nimeenda maybe sasa hiyo ndio ilikuwa mwisho ya mfuko na bado mwisho ya mm. okay si semi siongelea hapa hata naongelea tu situation general mm. because it all it happens it happens to anyone people peke yake naona any celebrity yake kwa bill sometimes inakuwa issues sometimes naona na celebrity akiomba akiomba usaidizi mm watu wanaanza kumwambia sasa wewe umekuwa ukipiga sherehe hapa unatupea paybill namba mm. na watu hiyo time hawajui maybe umse alianza kubadili kitu five years ago yeah. na pole pole imemdrain 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 mm. lakini juu hii ni celebrity mmekuwa mkiona do the same same celebrity yeah. but deep down yeah. it's a different case mm-hmm. yes now uh, according to you what do you think should be done kama sasa as a celebrity because mm. uh, watu wana judge kwa hawezi luck hawezi yani uko tu sawa unafaa kuwe tu sawa maybe nyinyi kama maseleb yeah. unafaa kufanya aje maybe kutoa hii kitu kwa watu ama mtu aishi maisha inakaa aje ama uishi haje eh mimi si hataki ku advise mtu i am not here to advise any celebrity every brand has their own mm-hmm. uh, way of doing things mm-hmm. kila celeb unajua se- branding is like you sit down yeah. and you say i want to be this mm-hmm. leo hii mc atiki nikaamua nataka mjue nataka mjue kitu fulani kunihusu mm-hmm. I can fake it mm-hmm. na mtajua. Mm-hmm. Na hizo simamisha Prado pale na to record saa hii MC Tricky nikiwa na fungo mpya mm-hmm. and all of you will know that I have a Prado hata kama ni uongo. Yeah. Leo hii nikiamua ile keja yangu na jenga sitawahi waonyesha. 
hakuna mtu anaijua mm. anajenga so before i onyesha watu hakuna mtu yeah. alikuwa anajua yeah. so it all it all depends on unataka nini mm-hmm. na mafanzo wako mm-hmm. what do they what do you want them to know about you the reason why i'm saying that is because whatever you agree with your fans mnafaa mm-hmm. mjuane hivyo but you must be prepared to leave that mm-hmm. you must be prepared to live with that that's the correct statement nikiamua leo nataka kuwa flows ya flashy life then there is no day that i will come back to you mm-hmm. in, a, in a different way kuomba ndo mm-hmm. i will have to live with the flashy life yes mpaka mwisho mm-hmm. nikiamua leo na amua tu nikae there are, there are big guys who have a lot of money and property mm-hmm. but you don't know yeah. and you will never know True. because yeah, they are brand yake iko hivyo mm-hmm. na yende hivyo na nyinyi na mimi pia insta wao waomba amtaiona mashida zangu na pia nyinyi amtaiona zetu mm-hmm. mm. it's all, it's all, it, 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 na unangai tu ikiwa simple hivyo. Mm-hmm. Do, do you have plans of working uh, on a TV because pia nimeona request mingi sana watu wakisema we want to see tricky on a TV station. The, the, the project that I'm launching mm-hmm. will be on TV. Okay. Yes. Yeah. So see itakuwa kwa but see eti no. ukwe kama news anchor pale. No 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 no. no. Mm-hmm. It's a comedy show. Mm-hmm. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Lastly I want you to talk to your fans. Hao yes. watu wako wanapenda sana and uh, you una inspire watu huku nje wacha ukiona unaona ulikuwa na jokes mingi lakini wewe ni mse mnoma sana ongeleshe <laughs> mafans wangu manze god bless you nataka kuombea naombea ngatu mafans wangu kitu moja everybody is gifted differently yeah. kuna ule mse yako kwa biz kuna mwenye yako kwa media kuna mwenye yako ako shule kuna mwenye yako kwa marriage mm. uh, unajua marriage pia ni job eh unaweza yeah. kuwa umeolewa ama umeoa mtu wako na kitu <laughs> so you have to keep it to keep the money yeah. i always pray that mungu aendelee tu ku kwa bless each and everyone in their own lines of duty. Mm-hmm. Mm. Right, thank wow. you so much Tiki mm. for the amazing interview. Yeah. Nimeanza mwaka na interview yako na unajua tu... lazima katambe vizuri. 2024 is full of blessings. Yeah. Msianze kuchochwa hapa atio itakuwa mwaka mbaya. It's always a, a blessed year for you yeah. so long as umeji align na the blessings. True. Yeah. Thank you so much. Wow. That is it guys. Bye bye. <laughs>